Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott, and I'm delighted to return to Frank Rudolph Young, who we talked about in our last episode, which was about psychic astral power through the mind navel, which was a fascinating episode. And the way it was written, the way it communicated about the nerve pathways and communicating with your astral self, it's an amazing technique. And so I wanted to read from the same book and go to the next level and talk about banishing tensions. Tension banishing power could be one of the most important powers. If you're having tension over anything in particular, this particular discussion is powerful and we will do a meditation at the end designed around the meditation given in the book Psychastra, The Key to Secret ESP Control by Frank Rudolph Young. Here we will discuss the power to banish tensions. I don't know if you're like me. I've gone through periods where I have major tension. I feel it in my body. It can be for a variety of things, but this particular technique in meditation is very powerful. Tension Banishing Power by Frank Rudolph Jung. Benefits resulting from control over miracle tension banishing power. With miracle tension banishing power, you can miraculously conquer any fear and get rid of all nervous tension instantly. Then you can coolly and calmly overcome any seemingly unsurmountable obstacle. Animal tamers, test pilots, trapeze performers, soldiers charging in the midst of heavy fire, the accused on trial, actors trying out for parts, athletes trying to win or break records, salesmen on the job or after big deals, or just a few of those who have used a form of miracle tension banishing power to achieve their ends. When you are freed from tension, you automatically convert yourself from the person you are into a superhuman person. Things which you could not do successfully before, you suddenly do with astonishing ease. You likewise save yourself a tremendous amount of energy every day, both mentally and physically. The limitless chemical kingdom of your brain then constantly secretes the appropriate unknown chemical substance for your mind and body to operate most efficiently, and so you feel, think, and act always at your earthly best. Your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems then function normally within you and maintain physiological equilibrium in all your body organs, including your blood vessels. That keeps your digestion healthy and your blood pressure down. You control others much easier for you understand them better and are influenced adversely very little by them. Your speech, your everyday performance, your physical agility, your reasoning are all better than ever, for your mind and your muscles function without obstacle. People acquire confidence in you at once and feel that you are sound and mature and level-headed, come what may. Without your even making a move, you are accepted as a leader, as the one whom everybody respects. Every aspect of your life has changed. Imagine now what you can achieve when you multiply such a power and do so instantly. What health and mental bliss you will possess. How people will throw themselves at your feet and consider you the next thing to a god. How easily you will conquer any terror that besets you, whether it be socially, romantically, or in business. No obstacle will deter you in anything you attempt, for you will quietly overcome it with the least effort. Life will be just one big success after another in anything and everything you undertake, and you will live much longer and enjoy every moment of it. You will overcome any drawback you have instantly and with astounding ease and convert every step of your life into a steady advance in the direction you wish, and everybody will wonder what miracle power you possess, so it pays you to acquire miracle tension banishing power without delay. The shattering nerve influence of prolonged reflex action. From morning to night, you are crowded with problems or situations, some of them quite minor, which throw you into emotional conflict, 
and emotional conflicts according to Merck's Manual of Diagnosis and Therapy may produce extreme fatigue and nervousness. Nervousness brings tension, conversely too. Merck's adds, the physical states causing fatigability may cause nervousness. So even if you avoid people or unpleasant situations all day long, but tire yourself out in anything at all, you will still turn nervous and tense. Even if you just lay in bed all day long and do nothing, you will grow tense from boredom. There is no usual way to avoid growing nervous and tense day after day, unless you drug yourself and then you will be even more nervous and tense once you recover from it. Besides, the heart regulating mechanisms are depressed by anesthesia. The drug consequently would also depress your heart action. But that is not all. Tension does not limit itself to conscious nervousness. Through your subconscious mind, it also spreads throughout your whole body, through all your nerves, including your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, and thereby tenses different organs and muscles that results in reflex action with all its unwanted sequels when it lasts over a period of time as most tension does. Your skeletal muscles affected by the reflex action then atrophy from disuse and the organs affected by it show degenerative changes which prepare the soil for implantation of serious disease like tuberculosis. The hysteric does that very thing to himself with his imagination and really makes himself sick. How to induce the magical repose of SWS, sleep with secret ESP plus control. The magical repose of SWS sleep is the miracle way to banish nervousness and its consequent reflex action. SWS sleep is slow wave sleep or sleep without rapid eye movement. It is therefore a sleep in which there is no intense activity of the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord. It involves no intense activity of your sympathetics, your fighting nerves. It is a sleep, instead, in which your mind takes wings from your brain and leaves it dead to the world. With your conscious and subconscious minds away from you, the nervousness they brought you is gone with them, and the tensions which they filled you are gone with them too. Your sympathetics grow dormant, and your parasympathetics, your loving nerves, rule you, bereft of their exciting causes your reflexes relax now and now your muscles and body organs return to their normal states the only problem is that when you are under tension your mind stubbornly refuses to fall into sws sleep it remains unbudgingly within your brain all the time you sleep or try to sleep keeping you awake or half awake most of the time and intensifying your tension and its reflexes with its dreams of conflict. In the laboratory of SWS sleep is achieved in animals by subjecting them to electroconvulsive shocks administered for five to seven days. You can fall into SWS sleep by putting yourself under the influence of your parasympathetic nervous system. The psychic master, however, falls into the SWS sleep with secret ESP plus control. Train yourself to do it in that manner. At bedtime, lie down to rest in your most comfortable sleeping position. Close your eyes and visualize your astral body lying in the air, about three feet above you, peering down at you. With Psychastra, suck in your mind navel, ether, and draw in your astral flow up your Psychastral route to your conscious and subconscious minds. Let your astral body flow permeate your two minds with the successive inhibitory excitatory subtrance fill yourself with overwhelming conviction that you can banish all tension at once let your brain secrete the appropriate chemical substance in this case serotonin with which to alter your astral body flow with the right astral force and form necessary to incite your astral body to banish your tension at once visualize your astral body flow dissolving your tensions in it and project it back through your psychastral route into your astral body, carrying your dissolved tensions with it. Accompany the projections with a power packet blast of feeling exuberant, 
to facilitate your altered astral body flow rushing across your nerve gaps. With the multi-div, expect the greatest success from your astral body in banishing your tensions and in the quickest time you hope for. Perceive your psychastralized astral body now looking down at you from where it floats above you with your tensions fixed in its head while you yourself lie quietly beneath it, a purely physical body without a single tension. Master this tension transfer and let sleep descend upon you without resistance. Halt immediately any thoughts that try to arise in your mind by projecting them right back out and watching them cramming into the head of your psychastralized astral body, not in your own, as if they are its troubles and its concerns, not yours. In astonishingly short time, you will fall into a deep, dreamless SWS sleep, and you will sleep as you have never slept before. Your tensed muscles and organs will relax completely, and you will enjoy the magic repose of SWS sleep. When you awake, you will feel like the proverbial newborn babe. How to banish nervous tension instantly. You can banish your tension instantly too when awake in much the same manner. The moment you are confronted with a nerve shattering situation at once, with the successive inhibitory excitatory subtrance, fill yourself with the overwhelming conviction that you can banish all your tension instantly. Your brain will at once secrete the appropriate chemical substance, in this case serotonin again, with which to prevent the fears that have rushed into your hypothalamus from reaching your conscious mind. Now, visualize your astral body standing, facing you, connected to you by the astral silver cord. With psychastra, suck in your mind navel ether and draw in your astral body flow up your psychastral route to your conscious and subconscious minds and let it permeate both of them. Visualize your astral body flow dissolving any tensions whatsoever in them. Let your brain secrete the appropriate chemical substance with which to alter your astral body flow into the right astral force and form necessary to draw all fears and tensions out of you. Now. Project your altered astral body flow out of your brain, carrying with it all your tensions and fears with it into your astral body, leaving your mind relaxed. Act now like the new tension-freed you. Should the least feeling of tension return to you, project it right out to your psychastralized astral body and you will experience no further difficulty banishing tension from your mind instantly when awake. How to build up the explosive energy of muscle relaxation. True muscle relaxation is possible only when both your mind and body are free from tension. The least tension in either and your muscle tense to a greater or lesser extent. For all incomparable athletes, all acrobats, all fashion models, all public speakers, for any activity that requires body power, body grace, or body efficiency, Success is impossible without muscle relaxation. Good health, too, depends upon it, because when your muscles are chronically tense, they undergo reflex contractions when in action, even if temporary, and that brings on fatigue quickly. Your muscles then react like those of the patient with the voluntary tremor. He does not tremble while sitting or lying down still, but the moment he makes a move, even if he just points a finger, his muscles tremble violently and incapacitate his actions. The relaxed muscle, in contrast, can explode with energy and act efficiently in an instant for it is handicapped by no concealed reflex action, which may suddenly grip it the moment it contracts the least. The concealed tendency to over-contract or enter into a spastic state when not due to a nerve lesion is due to a mental cause such as nervous tension. When your muscle is tense in reflex action, besides, it builds up toxins in your blood. Continuous action of toxins upon the cells of your sympathetic nervous system injures them and causes them to atrophy. Amyloid and atheromatous degenerations are considered part of the sympathetic syndrome since there is a continuous flow of messages, sensory impulses, 
to passing to your brain and spinal cord from the surface of your body. These may cause reflex action through your brain and spinal cord and contract certain of your skeletal muscles or through your sympathetics or parasympathetics cause reflex action in the muscles of your body organs. True muscle relaxation then is imperative, but how do you attain it? Muscle relaxation is due to the sliding filament mechanism. There is an inherent property of the contractile elements of the muscle fibrils themselves to return to their original length. This property has nothing to do with any soothing out of the contracted muscle by external forces, such as by your straightening your arm out again after your biceps are contracted. A muscle which has been shortened too much by contractions, though shortened more than 60% according to Ramsey and Street, does not elongate after contractions. Such a degree of contraction amounts to a cramp. The force necessary to relax the muscle nevertheless resides within the muscle itself, as observed in heart muscle during diastole or cardiac relaxation, and it is due to the sliding filament mechanism, and this mechanism can be put easily under secret ESP plus control. In order to build up the explosive energy of muscle relaxation, then with Psychastra suck in your mind navel ether and draw in your astral body up your psychastral route to your conscious and subconscious minds. Now I've mentioned the mind navel ether twice now. As a reminder, this is a connection of five nerve cords that work from the navel up into the spine that connect to the silver cord, which is your astral body. In the last chapter, when we discussed this, the idea is the astral body has these additional abilities and powers, and you can use this connection by projecting your thoughts, ideas, or things into your astral body, and you do it through this mind navel. So check out that episode for a further explanation of what that means when they say that in your whole spinal cord. Now, from the base of your skull down to the base of your spine, apply this excessive inhibitory excitatory subtrance. Fill the nerve gaps in the section of your anatomy, in other words, with the overwhelming conviction that you can truly relax all your muscles at once, no matter how strongly contracted or tense they may be. The concept of nerve gaps was spoken of in our last episode, this gap between the nerves in which you can stop signals from being sent. This is how you do it. Your brain will at once secrete the appropriate unknown chemical substance with which to convert your astral body flow into the right astral force and form necessary to bring you total muscle relaxation immediately. Visualize your altered astral body flow pouring out of your spinal cord into your tense muscles and dissolving the tensions in them, then project it back into your astral body through your psychastral route. Accompany the projection with a power-packed blast to facilitate the astral body flow rushing across the nerve gaps. This usually means some feeling exuberant. So it will flush across your nerve gaps of your psychastral route with the multi-div Expect the greatest muscle relaxation you can conceive of in the shortest possible time. Your stiffly contracted muscle fibrils will slacken like overstretched elastic and curl up like marcelled hair. The moment they feel as if contracting again by themselves, project them out and watch them contract in your psychastralized astro body, not in your body. They will relax and curl up like marcelled hair, again in your own body, ready to tense, tight, and explode with energy the instant you call them into action. How the ESP secret plus controlled tension banishing power, a person killed an attacking lion with one simple move. In a rather dry region of Kathiawar, India, Uplintu, a 25-year-old Indian fakir was drifting behind a migrating flock near the bed of an ancient river which cut across the desert. Suddenly he detected a slight movement in a shrub at one side of the flock. The flock broke into a panicky flight and a lion sprang out, headed for the slowest sheep. Upulintu 
shouted at the beast and swung at it with his staff. The lion drew away, then wheeled around and perceived its attacker with a growl it started for him. In consternation, Upklintu backed against a tree trunk to brace himself against the animal's expected lunge. Holding his staff in his trembling hands, he visualized his astral body standing there facing him, connected to him by the silver cord. With Psychastra, he sucked in his mind navel ether and drew in his astral body up his Psychastral route to his third eye and let it soak right into it. The third eye is the psychic power center. Then he poured it out of his third eye down his spine into his trembling muscles and dissolved all tensions out of them, and they now felt thoroughly relaxed. Then he projected his altered astral body flow out of him again through his psychastral route, carrying all his tensions with it into his astral body and leaving his mind and body absolutely relaxed. Upklintu's tremors vanished at once, and he saw them now inhabiting his psychastralized astral body instead of his own body. His terror of the beast vanished with his tension, and his head turned as cool as the waters of the Brahmaputra at the end of the winter. He stared at the stalking lion straight in the eye and seized hold of his staff with both hands about two feet apart so that when the animal sprang at him, as it was obviously preparing to do, its deadly claws could not land on his hands and tear them to shreds. Uklintu then set his staff horizontally against his torso, about the level of his collarbone, ready to use at the proper moment. All at once the lion leaped at his throat, keeping his senses icy cool. Uklintu waited until the animal was high enough in the air and close enough to him with its terrifying white fangs fully unbared. With one move, he rammed his staff straight out at it with all his might, directed between the savage jaws. Powerful thrust jammed the head of the onrushing beast back, so forcibly against its neck that with a sharp crack it broke. The lion dropped with a heavy thud, lifeless at his feet. Contemporary True Life Cases there are individuals right in your own time who have touched the magic keys to secret ESP plus control over their miracle tension banishing power. With that touch of Psychastra, they have miraculously conquered fear and got rid of nervous tension instantly and coolly and calmly overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Following are some typical examples, the names of the individuals and sometimes the places have been changed. How George Aspinwall kept his head clear on the witness stand and fought against overwhelming opposition and saved his business from disaster. George Aspinwall felt that he was being unfairly persecuted by a rival business firm. Now, he was on the witness stand defending himself against its accusations. He had never been on the witness stand before, and as the opposition lawyer stepped up to cross-examine him, his heart felt as if composed of fluttering feathers. He answered his inquisitor as best he could, but he felt awkward and realized that he was saying far more than he was required to say. His own lawyer looked alarmed. All at once, George imagined the worst thing that could happen to him. He could be found guilty and fined heavily, and even sent to jail, guilty or not so long as he allowed himself to be proved guilty, even when he wasn't. Still, that was the worst they could do to him. They were not going to haul him off the witness stand and tear him limb to limb, or subject him to confession by fire. So he looked straight at the opposition lawyer as the latter questioned him further, and this time he visualized that lawyer withering and dropping to the floor like a handful of ashes because his questioning was unfair and obvious intended to trap him or draw more information out of him than he was entitled to. The judge reportedly re overruled the objections of George's lawyer, declaring that the answers could be struck out of the records if they proved to be immaterial to the case. Being under oath, George found himself in a spot. So again, he stared at the opposition lawyer and imagined him withering and dropping to the floor like a handful of ashes. George therefore did not let terror invade him, but filled himself with defiant courage instead and answered his tormentor with a cool calm and totally unshaken attitude 
and gave him back just the answer, and not a word more. The opposition lawyer was obviously waiting for those extra self-incriminating words, and when they failed to come, he looked nonplussed and a bit annoyed. He turned desperately to the judge, but the judge replied to him that the witness had answered the question. The seething lawyer now whirled around to George and let loose a barrage of sharp statements and accusations, but instead of opening up furiously as he had apparently been expected to do, George merely gazed back at him and saw him again wither to the floor like a handful of ashes. George's own lawyer leaped to his feet, but the judge himself called the opposition lawyer to order and warned him against abusing the witness. From then on, the opposition lawyer began limping legally in the case as George calmly faced him and met his futile onslaughts, and he gradually faded from the picture before long George's lawyer requested that the case be dismissed. Then it was decided George won, with a touch of secret ESP plus controlled miracle tension banishing power. George Aspinwall had kept his mind clear on the witness stand, had fought back against overwhelming opposition, and had saved his business from disaster. How Veronica Morales became a political leader of men and women, and was elected to political office against all male opposition. Veronica Morales was a 28-year-old woman in a small Latin American country. It was an all-male, all-aristocrat controlled system, and Veronica belonged to the poorly paid store clerk working class. But that was not all. To get work, a woman had to demonstrate an intimate willingness to her employer, or he would fire her the moment she stopped being nice to him. Not only that, but he would cap it all by bragging to his buddies about his conquest. Veronica indeed opposed the whole degradation of women in that society. One day, she finally made up her mind to flout the old customs of the country and demand that women be given their equal place in it. She stopped being cowed, frightened, grateful, female, quaking before her dictatorial male employer, ready to gratify his every whim in order to hang on to her job. She courageously decided that her personal being was as inviolable as his, that she deserved the same pay for the same work as any man, that when she married her husband should stay home with her at night unless his business or special society called him out, that she herself should be able to go out leisurely at night unattended if she wished. Veronica thought it all out in bed as she rested at night in her semi-slum quarters and made up her mind to challenge the old traditions. She boldly attended political meetings, although it shocked the all-male gathering, and climbed to the platform too and spoke. Her speech avoided the female issue entirely, but concentrated on the miserable economic and social plight of the poorer class man. The men began to listen, and her speech brought forth a wild burst of applause. When she spoke at the next meeting, the resulting enthusiasm was electric. As nomination time for award assemblyman for that party one man had the audacity to nominate her but the others strongly upheld him and she won the nomination in the primary the women came out with their husbands and voted for the first time in the country and for her veronica won her seat with ease her action influenced other women in the country and they too became more independent and demanding and the movement toward emancipation of a woman in that little custom-bound country took a decisive leap forward with a touch of secret esp plus controlled miracle tension banishing power veronica morales in a country where women hardly counted became a political leader of men and women and was elected to office and started to change the whole status of her sex in her country meditation once again the secret of this ESP plus control over your miracle tension banishing power is the easiest and most effective miracle power for conquering fear and getting rid of nervous tension instantly and for coolly and calmly overcoming insurmountable barriers in order to master it most easily. So you can pause it here about the 30 minute mark anytime you want to come back to this episode and I will give you this little meditation that you can do if you feel like tension's coming up and you can follow these steps. Once you get good at it, you can do it on your own. 
So take a deep breath and relax. If you're starting to feel any sort of tension, any sort of tension at all, the moment you are faced with a nerve shattering situation that fills you with dread at once, fill the nerve gaps in your brain and spinal cord with the overwhelming conviction that you can banish all your tensions instantly both in your mind and in your muscles immediately now haul all your doubting and scoffing fill yourself with absolute confidence absolute confidence in your astral body and its power to do anything whatsoever on earth do not merely pretend to acquire this confidence saturate your whole body with this absolute confidence that you can control your own tension you can banish all your tensions instantly you have complete control Think on this. The nerve routes which your astral body communications pursue through your body to your conscious and subconscious minds are the psychastral route. It consists of five individual nerve pathways running like the lines of a musical bar parallel to each other until they reach your brain from your navel. They diverge, each one continuing to its respective cerebral destination. The five individual nerve pathways of your psychastral route are composed of sensory message bringing nerves, which convey separately to different areas of your brain, astral messages of muscle coordination, pain and temperature, touch and pressure, proprioceptive or sensations of the pull of gravity and of horizontal planes of the earth spinal visual reflexes or reflexes of equilibrium and riding to keep your body erect each of these five nerve pathways receive its specific astral sensations from your mind navel and transmit it to a site about midway down your back similar to where the plat might be located about one and a half inches below a line across your back uniting the bottoms of your shoulder blades or into that portion of your spinal cord located within the space of your eighth and ninth thoracic vertebra now visualize your mind navel and your silver cord going out of the top of your head from your spine with a silver cord valve between them effectively blocking off all communications to you from your astral body at the end of your silver cord estimated about three feet long for this visualize another you your astral body which knows everything and can do anything instantly visualize this other you as being perfectly ready and willing to do anything worthy that you ask him to Your silver cord valve may be stubbornly wedged between you two, preventing you from communicating with each other. 
Your silver cord valve is wedged stubbornly between you two. Because it is an astral valve and your own conscious and subconscious minds keep it shut by doubting and scoffing about your astral body. So again, immediately halt all doubting and scoffing by filling yourself with absolute confidence in your astral body and its power to do anything whatsoever on earth. Do not merely pretend to acquire this confidence, but saturate your whole body with it from head to foot. Feel this confidence in it filter through your shoulders to your arms to your chest to your waist to your legs and to your feet until your entire body tingles with it. Practice saturating yourself with this confidence until you are thoroughly convinced from head to foot that your astral body does exist and that it stands there facing you ready to obey your command. Now, Suck in the mind navel ether and draw in your astral body. Flow up your psychastral route, up the route of your spine to your conscious and subconscious minds and let it permeate both of them. And visualize your astral body flow, dissolving all tensions whatsoever in them. let it pour down with the right astral force and form through your whole spinal cord into your trembling muscles and dissolve all the tension out of your brain and muscles so that you feel absolutely relaxed. Now, project your altered astral body flow out of you through your psychastral route, through the mind navel, up through your spine, through the silver cord, and out your silver cord, carrying all your tensions with it and leaving your mind and body thoroughly relaxed. Any tensions that you had are now in the astral body. See the tensions going through you, through the cord, into your astral body, which is now outside of you. Now, accompany this with a power packet blast, feeling exuberant, feeling a sudden rush of exuberance overwhelming your body to facilitate your altered astral body flow rushing across the nerve gaps of your psychastral route. Just feel exuberance for the next few moments.
with this incredible exuberance I want you to multiply your relaxation and banishing of tension so in this moment expect and imagine the greatest possible banishment of all your tensions in the shortest possible time that you want it to happen now send your altered astral body flow back into your astral body Now I want you to perceive your psychastralized astral body that you've now sent all this tension and these thought changes looking at you now and your astral body is filled with your tensions concerns aches and pains instead of you all of them are gone and your astral is more than happy to take these pains loves the fact that you're doing it all of them are with your astral body now thank your astral body for what it has done should you feel any more tensions coming into you project them back out to your psychastralized astral body and let them enter it and not you take another deep breath and as you come back to yourself you will banish all your tensions with tremendous speed and feel absolutely calm and cool in no time if you use this technique hopefully that helps you out let me know if this exercise works the only way we can really know if things like this work is if we try them out and if you have some tensions come up send it to your astral body try this exercise imagine seeing the astral body and that they're holding the tension and then report back in the comments i'll be very interested to see what you discover as you explore and experiment with this and the more we share the better we can get at utilizing techniques like this do you feel the sensations of the mind navel do you feel the silver cord do you feel any particular emotion in particular when you go for that exuberance every step that i talked about is discussed in further detail in the first episode where we talked about the mind navel so let me know what you think and i will continue to explore maybe purposeful additions into other meditations in the future wishing you all the most amazing days sending out bliss and love to you all episodes of The Reality Revolution can be found at therealityrevolution.com and welcome to The Reality Revolution.